Hello. Last week we had this internet clock. We used the T Display S3 AMOLED. And this week I decided to use cheaper T Display S3 and to make an example of internet weather station. Here is version with Fahrenheit and here is version with Celsius. In the last week video, which was about this clock, I received many nice and supportive comments and I just wanted to say thank you my dear friends for all your support. It was very nice to read all these comments. I am very happy because, because people find my channel very useful. Thank you again. So, in this video I will show you how to make this weather station. Actually this is not my first internet weather station. Three years ago I made weather station, internet weather station using this old TTGO T-Display. And that is probably one of my first popular videos. Let's check it together for a few moments. And here it is. Simple, simple data, just temperature, humidity and time. And you can see that my camera was much worse. But that was probably it. Oh, I was quite bold even then. And yes, very nice shaving job. Well done, me. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I tried to to make this project yesterday on the display, but this project is it seems is it is quite outdated. So. Libra libraries were update and what is most important open open weather map this API we are using to fetch these weather data that AP API is completely different now so code for this will not work so I decided to make to make new one on newer board with higher resolution and with my new skills. And here is the result. In this case I decided to use black and white version or gray black and white version and I don't know why but I think this way it looks very good. Now we have temperature, time which is also synchronized from internet, humidity, pressure and speed of wind. Here is also scrolling message which contains some useful data. For example, you can now see that it is clear sky, that visibility is 1000 I don't know what that means and here we have temperature in last 12 hours device updates weather every three minutes and here is minimum temperature and maximum so now is let's say three afternoon so in three in morning temperature was little higher than 20 degrees in I don't know in six or seven it was lowest and now is 36.5 but you I will leave that to you to play with I think this is something that everyone can have on their working desk or on table I'm very 
satisfied how it looks. So let's check the code and how to set up how to set up this weather station on your Lilygo T display. I know that many of you already own this board, but if you are new here and you don't have this development board, you can find link in the description. I ch chose I choose that this board because it is quite affordable. Price goes from 30 or with these headers pins it's like 15 but I love to use this version with black with this case or they call this shell it looks very good in this also if you are new here please consider subscribing because I'm so close to reach 100k subscribers so obviously you will need this board and you will need code you will find code in description and in code you will need to edit few things you will need to put your time zone you will need to put name of your town you will need to put your api key this is my api key but i will delete my <laughs> delete my keys after i upload this video and you will choose here do you want to use metric or, or imperial units so if you put here metric it will be in celsius if you put here imperial it will be in fahrenheit and you will need api key yes for uh, connecting to wi-fi we are using wi-fi manager if you don't know how this works this part of code is used to connect board to uh, Wi-Fi so no Wi-Fi data are hard coded if your board can connect to Wi-Fi uh, ESP32 will make Wi-Fi new Wi-Fi network and you will connect to that network using password password and you will enter your Wi-Fi data which will be stored in ESP32 memory uh, just check my last video and there I explained how Wi-Fi manager works so you will need to know your time zone mine is plus two you will need to know name of your town your API key and you will need to decide metric later you can play with code set time is used to set time okay but let's first check how you <laughs> you will get this API code so we are using open weather map API this service will give uh, weather data on specific location API call looks like this this is my API key and response is this but we don't need all this data so how you will get your API you will registrate on this site you will click here on your name and you will go to my api keys and you will copy this here this part of code is used to get time we are using ntp server this will be your api string which contains town API key and units these are some variables setup function which will init everything this is function which will get, get data from from 
client from internet and this is draw function which will draw everything uh, I I try to put more comments so you know what is <laughs> what so you can edit this maybe add some colors so you can make this look better but I will leave that to you have fun and that's it I hope many of you will use this I hope many of you will have this on your desk because that that makes me happy to know that my work is on someone desk that is pretty cool thank you have a nice day please leave a comment tell me what you think if you want to support my work feel free to buy me a coffee it really helps me thank you goodbye